episode of Stuff and Things. I'm currently in Danger Close Armaments headquarters, sitting in Will's office. What's up, dude? <laughs> I just have like a makeshift office here. I've been here for what, three weeks now? Yeah. Been here for a while. I am making this video in this fashion because the video that was supposed to go live today has been sitting on my hard drive on my computer, which I have in front of me right here for a long time. And as you guys know, I've been releasing videos at a later time, like sometimes two weeks after they were actually filmed. That mistake has now caught up to me because a video that Will and I filmed two weeks ago now, I got it on my computer and it has no audio. So I've been here for three weeks. That was the last video that I like truly filmed and I've been carrying my camera around filming stuff here and there. So we're gonna jump into these clips that I have in front of me here. It's basically just gonna be a little recap of our trip. No. So one thing we've been doing now is every hour on the hour we have to do push-ups and his alarm just went off. This is literally our work day now. <sighs> Extra five today. <laughs> oh man. So I've been enjoying the time here. We have this video to go over that has no audio so let's just check out how our camping trip went. Mission success. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that the first time you use it? Yeah, that's oh, the first yeah. time I use it. We needed to test it. Hopefully I'm not stuck now. I should be good. Well that was the first mission to find a spot to park for tonight. We we're at this private like reservoir lake type of thing and we're just gonna post up right here for the night. fun time. Will got his Xterra stuck in the oh, lake bed. Yeah, you did. And I'm pissed that the audio didn't work from that, but it is what it is. Oh, so at the end of that video there, I was actually flying Will's drone, and I mentioned this on Instagram before, but my little drone when I was driving through the canyons down in New Mexico, I was driving the van and flying the drone to get those shots. 
I flew his drone, which is a newer version of the one that I used to have before I broke it, smashed it into a tree up at my range. I flew his drone and then literally that day I went and bought one. So impulse buy, haven't even flown it yet, but that's gonna get some good use here in the next couple of days. Oh, we went to the pet store. So Will's friends, well, Will has a lot of animals and you guys are looking at that stuff right now. But we went to a pet store to check out a bunch of different stuff and we came back with some, some treats. And I wasn't super stoked on this, but it happened. We can't eat just one, you gotta have like a handful, right? I think like, like a gentleman's four might okay. suffice. Mmm, right. look at this one. Oh, dude, you can see their heads and everything. Look at these guys. Right. Well, cheers. Dink. Uh. Okay, okay. Should've taken my chew out. Oh, yeah, you yep. gotta lip it. Yep, that's okay. Um, Not my favorite, no. if I'm honest. It, I, I, I don't even know what it tastes like. It kinda tastes like popcorn. Yeah, Mexican popcorn. Mm. All right. Delicious, thanks again, Eric. <laughs> thanks for watching. So yeah, the bugs weren't all that bad. And then we flew some racing drones. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> Whoa. So Will used to race drones or used to do like freestyle so racing nice. and stuff like that. And we pulled some of his old drones out of the basement. Now he's hooked on that again, and you're gonna start flying some more? Yeah, thanks for that. No problem. And that brings us to like two weeks ago, I've been sitting here in Will's office. Thanks for letting me use your office, by the way. I've been editing here nonstop. I've also helped put together some TS-43Xs, and there are a lot going out. There's what, like 10 or 15 of them going out today? So we're getting up there in the production. There should be a new production schedule up sometime soon. I actually just posted the new production schedule, it's up. Oh, you posted it right now. Okay, so a new production schedule is up and things are going great on that front. A ton of 43Xs, you can check out the photos here or over on Danger Close's Instagram. So that stuff is moving right along. And then we went rock climbing, which we're actually going to do a little bit later today. So I'll show you guys more of that then. It's been a while since I've been in the rock gym. I used to climb a lot. I've shown it in videos before, not when I was like super into it, but I used to go to the gym probably two or three times a week and climb pretty religiously. So we've been getting back into that a little bit more. And I think that about catches you guys up to the point that we're at right now. It is only 10 o'clock in the morning, and let me specify the date. It's August 26th. A lot of people think that these videos are in real time, and while we're getting closer to real time, we're still not quite there yet. All these videos go up early on Patreon, so if you guys want to support the road trip and you want to get stuff early and have direct contact with me, you can always check that out in the description down below. It's not necessary. You guys don't need to do that, but it is cool to have a better connection with some of you out there. And now it's still a work day, so I'm going to start editing some footage. Will's got phone calls. I have a phone call actually in like an hour. And then we're gonna go to the rock gym after that. So the start is here. Swing to this. Volume is on. <laughs> Dude, that's so ridiculous. Damn.
All right, guys, so we just finished climbing. The climbing that you actually watch was from Will and I climbing two weeks ago. We were playing Takeaway, where you climb up a specific route and then take away a hold. It was a ton of fun. Today we were actually doing top rope because I finally picked up my harness, which I haven't picked up in years, and I'm beat, smoked. Very smoked. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're gonna head back to his house where I actually have the van parked right now. I got the batteries charged up because I'm gonna be leaving Friday actually, so two days from now. I got water and everything topped off, the van is ready to go. Sorry you guys aren't seeing the van much in this video, but I do have something added to the van now that I'm excited to show you guys and you're gonna see that right now. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, <laughs> I almost missed it. Damn it. So here's what we have going on in the van now. We have brought on some more sponsors. First up, we have DCA right here on the bomb door because if you know, you know. We also have Q on board now. Love Q and everything that they do. Again, if you know, you know. And then we got a big guy down here, Work Sharp Sharpeners. Now, believe it or not, I've been traveling this whole time for roughly two months now in the van, and for some reason, I didn't bring a knife sharpener with me. In the past, I had a work sharp field sharpener, and I sent it to my friend Chad up in Washington, who also lives in a van. He was asking me about good knife sharpeners, and I was like, this is small and compact, and you can keep it in your van. So I sent that to him, and work sharp was like, hey, we want in, and I was like, cool, let's do this. So huge warm welcome and thank you to WorkSharp for becoming an official sponsor of the Sat Van. How was your ride? Uh, treacherous. Treacherous? We should go ride those in a second. Yeah. Now this isn't cool just for me, but it's also cool for some of you guys out there. As you know, if you see me on the road, I have Sat Van patches to give out. Now when I told WorkSharp that I embarked on this trip without a sharpener, they were like, uh, what are you doing, dude? So not only did they replace my field sharpener. This is the one that I actually sent up to my friend. But they sent me more of them here. And I have some pocket sharpeners too. And I don't have a whole lot of room in my van. I really only need one like this. So if you guys see me on the road and you mention WorkSharp being a sat van sponsor, then you get a WorkSharp sharpener. Until I run out, of course. So I've got a bunch of pocket sharpeners. I got a bunch of their guided field sharpeners right here. And then on the inside somewhere back here, this is probably the one that I'm gonna keep for myself. This is a guided sharpening system. It's basically like a little system here that rotates to different stones. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with it. it has built-in angles, this and that, whatever. This isn't an ad for them. They're just sponsoring the van. So this is something that is cool that's gonna be in the van and I'm gonna use it and show you guys some videos on it here in the future. So huge thank you to WorkSharp for coming on board and I'm excited to be working with you guys. I'm gonna come visit once I make it up to Oregon eventually. Now speaking of Satvan sponsors, I also got a few gifts from this company, also a Satvan sponsor. Ooh, check these out. It's kinda of hard to see on camera, but can you see that right there? These are a new collab between Oakley and Multicam, of course. They actually sent me these really cool frog skin glasses. They're coming in the regular Arid Multicam. And since all the nice people at Multicam are homies of mine, they packaged the glasses with black Multicam cushions, little pillows for my little sofa here. So we got Multicam on the interior, on the hood on the pillows. We are just completely swagged out with multi-cam now, so thank you guys for supporting everything that I'm doing. What's that, dude? So just the other day, oh, that sounds good. That's good for filming YouTube videos. So just the other day, this skateboard actually showed up uh, at DCA shop, and we're gonna go take it for a spin now. This isn't an official review by any means. But a lot of people have asked me about electric skateboards recently, and this is one that I've never taken a look at. This is coming from Max Find. You've ridden this once before. One time. So since I got to Colorado, I've been, of course, riding the one wheel, and I put Will on the one wheel. He's starting to like this thing, and that showed up now, so he's getting the taste of all of the electric rideables now. 
The brakes seem to work pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Some of those cracks are like show-stopping cracks and that thing seems to be rolling over them. If you guys want to check out full specs on the boards, I'll pop them up on the screen right here. And if you want to find out more information about it, ooh, I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. You're in mode three there? Yeah. No, mode four now? Mode four. Ludicrous mode. That should go faster than the one we know. Please don't die. We should be wearing helmets right now. <laughs> so I'm always riding my one wheel in mission mode, which is like loose and fluid and buttery and it feels really cool. If I'm just cruising like this, the max speed is probably around like 15 or 17 until I start to feel pushback. So he pulled away pretty quickly there, I would guess. He was maybe doing 22-ish. Again, this is not formal electric skateboard review from myself, but seems to be pretty good. My turn. Definitely a mode three kind of guy. Mode three kind of guy. <laughs> Four's a little I too much. Mode three. We'll test them all out. All right, again, not a whole lot of flex, so your feet are probably gonna rattle a little bit. The controller is very boosted board-esque, scrolly thumb wheel. Feels kind of cheap, but also decent at the same time, if that makes sense. It's kind of what you would expect from a board like this. Bump it up one, which you can do while you're moving, which is nice. Oh yeah, load two feels pretty good. The acceleration curve feels really nice. It's not super aggressive, but it's nice and mellow. I mean, Will, this was his first electric skateboard that he rode and he did just fine. I wanna check out the brakes for myself before we go too quickly. Yeah, feels good. Of course, this is a dual hub motor board. Power delivery is quiet and as expected. Ooh, that is a big hole right there. It's doing pretty well up hills. Not giving me an issue with all these little cracks and bumps and sticks and rocks and everything that I'm kind of riding over right now. It feels pretty good right now. We are back at the sad van. Probably prefer that one for commuting. You would prefer this for commuting? Yeah. A little bit faster, I guess. I feel more comfortable going faster on that one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that too. One wheels are obviously not built for like top speed. They're my favorite out of most of the electric rideable stuff because you can just pull them out of your vehicle, like the van and take them anywhere. If you don't know what the terrain's gonna be, you can ride through rocks and grass and sand and all that. But if you're living in a city like back, way back when I started my channel, I was living in Boston without a vehicle and I rode a boosted board everywhere I went. So I definitely agree that electric skateboards are a little bit more of a commuter vehicle, especially if you're going to be ripping through a city and you wanna to get to a destination quickly. Again, this is not a review on the MaxFine board here. But just from a quick glance at it and a quick little ride, it seems like a decent board. I don't even know how much this costs right now. I don't know, I'll have to check out the website. And you guys can find that info in the description down below. So I guess that's gonna be it for today. I just wanted to catch you guys up to speed on what I'm doing. Again, I'm in Colorado now. I'm gonna be here for the next like two days or so. And then I'm heading west into Utah, Salt Lake area first. So you guys will see those videos here on the channel pretty soon. Again, huge thank you to WorkSharp, DCA, Will, thanks for letting me steal your electricity and park in your driveway. <laughs> and Q, of course, uh, I'm stoked to have you guys on board and I appreciate that you appreciate what I'm doing here on the channel. Wouldn't do it without you guys, so thank you very much. If you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. That's all, thanks for watching, later. <laughs>